right, you guys. Well, today I have for you this 2015 Jeep Cherokee. Take you on a little walk around here. It's got these kind of like interesting squinty looking headlights. Go around the back here. We'll pop the tailgate. So it's actually not the biggest cargo area I've seen. Um, I feel like I've seen bigger than this, uh, but you do get a 12 volt outlet back here and you also get um, a big storage area under this carpet. And you also get a full size spare tire under here, which is pretty nice to have. You can fold these seats down. You can just use these little tabs. They fold down pretty easily, but we'll close this trunk here. And um, it is kind of a slow closing trunk but not too bad. I'll check out this back seat. All right. And um, it is a little small back here, but I don't really have any major complaints. Um, it's pretty good, it's comfortable. Um, these leather seats back here are decent. Um, front ones are kind of a different story. I'll talk about that later. Um, fold this seat back up here. And uh, you do get decent, nice materials, like about what you would expect for a car like this but we'll hop out here we'll show you guys under the hood real quick all right so this is a 3.2 liter v6 uh kind of surprising to see a v6 in a little compact suv like this but it makes 271 horsepower and 239 pound feet of torque um, pretty good power. Uh, it's a big engine, but um, this nine speed automatic kind of slows it down a little bit. Talk about more of that when we get this thing out on the road. All right, so we'll start it up. And uh, it's a pretty elegant interior. It's really not too bad. Um, material quality is decent. I think this interior is put together like decently well. Um, you do get this big screen right here, but it is definitely older. It's pretty laggy, but it's not horrible. Um, you do get heated seats, you get cooled seats and a heated steering wheel. Pretty nice to have, especially for 2015. You also get this really nice panoramic roof, which is a nice feature to have in a car like this. Um, you do get your climate controls down here, auto start, stop off which I usually always turn off. It's really not the best. Um, you get your uh, drive mode selector down here. So you have auto, you have snow mode, you also have a sport mode, and uh, you have sand and mud. But we'll just go back to auto. Maybe we'll try sport mode later. You also get an electronic parking brake. Um, down here you get a SD card slot. You also get a standard USB-A and an aux port and a 12 volt outlet. Um, you do get a backup camera, which is pretty nice. Um, it's not the clearest resolution, but it's a pretty big field of view, so can't complain too much. You do get a nice screen in the center. Um, shows you a lot of information, like your messages, um, your compass, your direction, your tire pressure, um, fuel economy, your typical stuff that you would expect. Get your headlight controls, your power trunk release. Um, you do get a pretty average size center console. It's not too bad. You also get another USB and a power outlet and you get a decent sized glove box, but we'll get this thing out on the road. Talk about how it drives. Handles this gravel road decently well. And um, first thing I noticed driving this around, um, the acceleration is a little bit rough in my opinion. Um, it's not bad, it's still decently smooth, but um, this nine speed automatic just shifts kind of weird in my opinion. Um, it doesn't always deliver the most seamless shifts. So 
Suspension is decently smooth, though it is kind of busy in the suspension. I notice um, if I go over like a dip in the road, it's a little dramatic. And you have these people who just don't even look when they cross the street. But, um, general response of this car is uh, decent. Stepping on the gas, it's decently responsive, though I have run into situations where, again, this transmission, um, it feels a little laggy and confused a lot. Like, it doesn't know what gear to pick sometimes when you go to start out. The steering is uh, pretty nice. It's a pretty, like, hefty kind of feel to it. And um, it's, like, pretty sporty, I'll say. Decently sporty. Um, responds pretty well. These brakes are pretty good. Um, they feel pretty powerful. The brake pedal itself though, I think uh, could use a little bit of work. Um, it's not the most smoothest braking feel. Try out some of the power. All right. That's actually pretty good power. Um, it's definitely gonna feel more impressive than some other compact SUVs. Um, their cars like the cars like the Rav4 and the Nissan Rogue. Um, they only come with a four-cylinder, so again, like a V6, that's a pretty nice option in a car like this. Um, definitely sets it apart from some of the competitors. All right. Yeah, this transmission though, it's just kind of slow. But the ride is smooth on this road. It's a pretty normal road, but um, ride feels nice and settled, nice and still. Kind of glides down the road with no issues. Um, this car also, it has a pretty commanding view out of the road. Um, you can see over this front hood just fine. Uh, feels like a pretty substantial car when you drive it. It's not like a crazy seating position or anything, but um, you sit a little bit higher up than a traditional car. Um, you get really good visibility all around, like big back window, um, big side mirrors. It's a very easy car to drive and see out of. Road noise is pretty quiet. Um, I'm hearing some tire noise, but uh, it's pretty average. Maybe a little bit on the loud side, but not too bad. These seats are kind of an issue for me. Um, they're just a little bit small, and I feel like the lumbar is a little bit intrusive, even in its lowest setting. We'll see how it does around these corners up here. And it does have like pretty good handling. Um, it's pretty smooth handling. And um, there's not like a ton of body roll or anything like that. Like it stays pretty firm on the road, which uh, is a pretty good strong point. It's definitely better than like a Nissan Rogue or something and in, in terms of like the handling and the feel of it. It's a, it's a little more exciting than your standard run-of-the-mill SUV. That's not to say it's like crazy or anything. It's still a pretty average car to drive, but um, it's a little bit uh, spicy, I'll say, around this corner. Yeah, it has a nice, um, a nice, like, substantial 
kind of feel to it. It's pretty easy to control. You do get a slightly more off-road focused kind of ride, but it's nothing bad. Uh, it's still pretty normal, just a slight off-road sort of feel to it. But yeah, I notice at like 40 miles an hour when I try hitting the gas, it has this weird clunking sensation and um, it doesn't downshift. Let's see, try to... That's like, just to do that, that was like more than halfway into the gas pedal. It's still a nice car to drive. I mean, I could drive this it just doesn't have like the sharpest response. All right, we'll try taking it on the highway, see how it does. All right, it's slow to downshift there, but. Uh, it roars when it when it finally kicks down. Yeah, it gets up there pretty good. And you know, normal highway ride, um, pretty smooth, pretty settled. I do like the visibility, as I said in here. Um, definitely an easy car to see out of. We'll try to take this exit here, do like a mock pass. All right, yeah. You have to kind of floor it to do that, but um, it is pretty powerful once it does, once it gets into that range. Brakes aren't the highest quality feeling, but they're okay. It doesn't have quite that like really assuring bite in the pedal. Um, they are just a little bit vague, a little bit mushy in my opinion. All right, I'll get back on the highway here. normal acceleration. I feel like I do have to like really put my foot into it um, if I just want to make slight adjustments in speed.
the V6, I am a little bit disappointed in the power. I mean, you'd think a V6 would be a little bit quicker and it's fine, like it's decently peppy, but it's not like, you know, really that quick, honestly. Um, it's pretty normal, pretty average. I think I'll end the video in here. Uh, it's getting kind of dark outside, but it seems like the perfect time. Twenty fifteen Jeep Cherokee. Pretty smooth ride, pretty easy car to drive. Pretty smooth cornering, um, pretty agile handling, I'd say. Pretty nice interior, um, decently put together well, has good features. Only thing I didn't really like was this nine speed automatic transmission. Um, really not the most intuitive. Decently smooth for the most part, but not very responsive, not very sporty. Um, and the V6, you know, it's decently peppy, but it's not gonna be anything crazy. But we'll shut the car off and we'll hop out. All right. Thanks for watching.